Welcome or welcome back to my little creative corner of the internet. It's already time again to decide which journal to use for our new bullet journal in 2023. I can't wait for the fresh start on the one hand and on the other hand I'm like what? Where did 2022 has gone? In my 2022 bullet journal are still a few pages left, about 50 or so, but it's not enough to keep continuing this journal. I will find a better use for the pages throughout the next year. So I ordered myself a new journal from Leuchtturm 1917. Everyone who's been here for a while knows how much I like those journals for my bullet journal. And no, I'm not sponsored to say that. I did spend my own money on the journal. This time I decided to get the 120 gram paper edition. It's a new kind of journal they have out now. Uh, it wasn't available on the market last year. But I really, really liked the quality of the paper in my bullet journal edition 2 journal I had for this year. But I really, really wanted to get rid of the bullet journal title on the front cover of the journal. And like I already told in last year's journaling comparison video, I really needed the thicker pages than the ones in the regular Leuchtturm 1917 journals. This was why I got the bullet journal edition 2 for this year. I really liked the black inside, but to be honest, I didn't really use the spacing sheet in the front, so I probably won't miss it. If you want to have a closer look at the Leuchtturm Bullet Journal Edition 2, I will leave a link to last year's unboxing and comparison video in the description down below. Now let's get a closer look at the 120 gram journal. I really like the clean front cover. I have an idea what I want to do with it, but this will be a project for another video. So let's look inside. The paper color and the dots are the same as in the Bullet Journal Edition 2. The only thing that is different is the little markers on where to split the pages easily are missing. So maybe I will need a space guide in the new year again. The only other difference is the page numbers are on the side of the page, not in the middle. I did prefer them in the middle of the page, but so what? It's not a big of a deal where the page numbers are. I really like the feel of the paper and can't wait for this fresh start at the beginning of the new year. I always love it to start with a clean slate. Like all the journals, this one also has a pocket in the back and an elastic to close it. And like I already said, I'm really happy for the absolute blank cover. If they made the Bullet Journal Edition 2 paper into a completely blank cover, this would be my absolute dream journal. But for now, I'm happy with the 120 gram paper of, of this one and just create my own spacing guide to work with in the new year. I will just set it up in the beginning of the year when I set up my uh, bullet channel. So stay tuned for that one. It will be a video like last year, I promise. If you want to set up your bullet journal for 2023, super, super easy and fast, Hop on over to my Etsy shop where I dropped my 2023 bullet journal printables. The full printables come with all the pages you need to set up your new bullet journal. A calendar overview, a lunar calendar, a half year overview spreads with some space for notes, a beautiful title page and a bunch of trackers and collection pages for the new year. For now I have two styles available. One inspired by vintage fashion and one inspired by dark academia. I will probably also add a few other styles next week, so stay tuned for that. The link to my Etsy shop will be in the description down below.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, a thumbs up would make me really happy. And if you want to join me on my creative journey, hit the subscribe button down below.